Go to Twitter. Let's see how it's going. So that's good. Let's see. I think everything's sounding fine. Right, my headphones are down a bit. I'll have to check into that later. Um, it's, yeah, anyways. Well, I do want to check one thing real quickly. Then we'll get started. I mean, technically we're checking something in the game, so it should be fine. Um, okay. We need to go there. I'll just have to make notes of where to go, because... Maybe there's not as many as I thought. Tomb of Kings, sure. That's one. Quicksand Caves. I've uh, been there. Uh... I need to go to both of these, really. Pretty sure we've been to Dragon Dragon Song Fang Fane at this point. Oh, it is on the list. Hey, Roswell, how are you? I'm just going over. Real quickly, some stuff. I guess we can do all the characters chapter two, because I'm sure that they have. Okay. Okay. There's another one right there. Not there. There. Okay, let's go ahead and... I'm not doing too bad, just uh, trying to find ways so as to not extend the game, but at the same time get items and make it so that the characters that I need to level get the proper levels that they need, but <clears throat> we'll worry about that later. For right now, we're going to go ahead and start. <clears throat> so, welcome everybody to the stream, just so you all happen to know, we happen to go ahead and give a little bit of a talk at the very beginning for everybody, so... <clears throat> oh, that's right. We have it over here for a reason. Um, hmm. So, welcome everybody to the stream. This does happen to be a... Yeah, grind without grinding is a good way to put it. Uh, this is a Catholic gaming stream. That means there will be prayer about once every hour and discussion about going on to the church. There will also be discussions about if the games played fit theologically wise or church teachings as we play them. This is a stream for everyone, but we ask that you be respectful of everyone here. If you have a question about the church, please feel free to ask. I'm only a lay person, however, so I may need to find the answer by asking my priest, doing research, or calling Catholic Answers Live. As such, that may take time. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to post it. If you're looking for other streaming channels run by Catholics, there is Interceptors My Dog Productions, who is currently doing Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy 6, as well as My Little Dragon Cafe. She also happens to have her own personal blog related to the faith. And then there is... Who else is there? Fortitude. I literally typing his name. Anyways, there's also Fortitude, who is primarily a battle royale player. Take that as you will. Uh, as well as a theology teacher, and does the Bad Catholic Dad's podcast, which is currently on hiatus, but is said to be coming back here eventually. Then there's Beard Blevins, who is also a theology teacher as well as a swell gentleman. And he primarily plays uh, Fortnite. 
Man, I'm just tired. That's okay. Like, not tired, tired, but brain is scattered, I guess. There is also Matt317, who is at the moment playing the Ace Combat 7 series, as well as going back to the Resident Evil games at some point, I believe. Then there is the Punchinine, who is just kind of does what he wants. Then last, but certainly not least, there is that Catholic Gamer dude who is currently on an indefinite hiatus due to having two children and being busy, and that's more than understandable. Um, I do recommend checking out his videos on YouTube, though, because he does reviews from a Catholic perspective, as well as t discussions. He also happens to be considering coming and streaming on Twitch, just because it does happen to be a bit easier, honestly. So, thank you very much. God bless, and remember that God loves each and every one of you. Go and sin no more. And with that, we, as I said, we do start with prayer. We do have prayer about once every hour. Um, I'd like to actually go ahead and begin with the readings for the day. So we will go ahead and do that now, then. Unless it's down again, that would be a thing. Oh, nope, nope, there it goes. For March 25th, 2019. Also known as the Solemn Solemn Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, which I meant to go to Mass today, but it's hard with a toddler, honestly. And it's not technically a holy day of obligation. I thought it was for some reason, but it's not. I am, however, going to be going to Mass tomorrow. It's it's honestly a lot easier if I just go to the uh, church after work immediately instead of coming home, because if I come home, I'm just going to get undressed and get in bed and then just lay there for a little bit because I like to lie down for a bit. That might be TMI. It's not meant to be TMI, but it might be. But yes, the Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. So this is when the Archangel Gabriel came down to Mary and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And then freaked her out a little bit because, you know, you're having a literal angel talk to you and saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, because that means that the angel is seeing that you're, that he, that she is above Gabriel. And that doesn't happen every day. That's happened once. One time. Because Jesus is, you know, fully man and fully God, so that doesn't count, but... <clears throat> it's not an everyday occurrence, I guess is what you're saying, so it's like to have an angel come down from you, and you'd be a little bit shocked, as Mary was. But, um, the first reading for today is from Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 10 through 14, as well as 8 through... as well as 8, ch uh, chapter 8, verse 10. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be as... Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you the sign. The virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and shall call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The psalm for today is Psalm 40. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. To the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight. And your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hidden within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I need to clean this desk. Sorry. The second reading for today is from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 4 through 10. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me, and holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to, you to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated. Through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us and we saw his glory. The gospel for today is from Luke chapter 1 verses 26 through 38. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will, shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will, and he will rule over the throne, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Now, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. And let me text my wife, actually, because I think... One second. I know it's not a holy day of obligation. I, we still probably should have gone, but... We went grocery shopping and then just ran out of time, unfortunately. One second. Okay. Bye, remote. I need to clean up my desktop, and I will eventually. I just need another bookshelf. So unfortunately, my desktop kind of happens to be covered in a bunch of Starlink stuff at the moment because I've been making my way collecting um, all the toys that it came with. I'm pretty close at this point. I'm missing two. <clears throat> two sounds right. Hold on. Halt. What business do you have here? There's no need to seek around now that I know now that I have the password. If I play my cards right, I can walk right in. It is pretty fun, honestly, Roswell. It's, I, I just need to go ahead and. <clears throat> there's one that I don't want to do at the moment, but it's from what I've heard, it's not too bad. One of them was a Europe exclusive, or at least not America. I mean, you might have it. I'm not sure, but I need to go ahead and order overseas. I've found a place supposedly that does sixteen dollars, including shipping, so it's not like it's awful, but. I do at this point just want to go ahead and finish the set out, honestly. I'm just waiting for games. GameStop has one of them here as an exclusive, so I'm just kind of waiting for GameStop to, uh... Well, I can clean this stuff up. One second. I'm waiting for GameStop to put them on sale, and they haven't yet. Supposedly they did, but I think I missed it. <clears throat> <laughs> Pardon me. But yeah, I need another bookshelf so as to be able to just clean my desk up a bit. It is kind of disgusting, but it's not like disgusting, disgusting, but it's not. Anyways, I have a package for Orlick. Materials for his experiment. Oh. You hear anything about delivery? Nah. Yeah, like, honestly, Roswell, it was... A If the ship wasn't 25 bucks, like, technically, each of these ships is 25 bucks. But, uh, you know, I've, I've got most of them for 1250 So it's like, let's see, I have... One came with the game itself, one came when I bought the game a second time for the PS4. So let's see, that's $90 right there. Then I bought one for full price, so that's $115. I'll go with I spent $200 on it so far. But on the bright side, since I have both the PS4 and Switch version, that means obviously I can just use the parts between the two. Except for the Star Fox stuff, because that's Switch exclusive. 
No, it's not too bad, Roswell, honestly. I also been <clears throat> I also wanted to test something out tonight cuz supposedly and obviously I haven't tested this yet. I'll have to do this in a little bit, but one second. Okay, so what I was going to say is, supposedly, each side can happen to have up to a... That I believe. Yeah, I was going to say, supposedly, each side can have up to three accessories. So I could technically have uh, two wings on there, so... And I haven't, I didn't know that until tonight, like, I mean, it makes enough sense, but it's like, you know, then you can mix and match the wings around a bit, and actually that, um, that doesn't look awful. But yeah, I'm curious if that is true, because, uh, wings do change stats as well, so if you could have two wings that, um, you know, one for defense, one for speed, that would be pretty nifty. That's odd. Maybe the message just got lost somewhere. Anyway, he said it was urgent, so I rushed over. But yeah, unfortunately, they didn't re release Starlink for PC either. Understood. What's the password? And I was going to say, technically, I think it is cheaper um, to get the digital version as well, Roswell. Like, I think the the truth of all things. Um, I think the digital version that comes with everything costs 90 bucks. So I think it's technically cheaper that way, but you don't get cool toys that way. All right, you may pass. Much obliged. Like, I know the toys aren't needed, but where would we be without guards? Uh, probably in trouble, honestly, if we'd, we're without guards. There'd be a lot of people that took advantage. I mean, still, guards do take advantage of one another, but still. Yeah, exactly, Roswell. I mean, it's like, these toys actually look pretty decent. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'll keep these here for now. I'm getting distracted, aren't I? Let's get undistracted here in a second. Oh, these wouldn't even work. Eh, I'll have to worry about them. Okay, too distracted, too distracted. Back to Octopath. Okay, that's enough. Like, I do actually want to play more Octopath and finish it up. I'm enjoying it, but I think I've seen enough of Octopath at this point that I want to finish it up. And don't get me wrong, I've had a good time with it, but still. I think we've been playing this since we first started streaming. Sounds about right. I need to re- I need to organize my, um, YouTube channel, because I've been very bad about that, but, um, yeah. That works too. Not quite what I was going for, but okay. Uh, the of the fight. But yeah, I need to up. I need to go through. Oh man, I don't even want to check how many I have at the moment. But I'm going to. I need to go through my YouTube channel and actually make all the uh, stuff that I've uploaded not private from my previous streams. <clears throat> YouTube Studio Beta. Nobody likes YouTube Studio Beta. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, Alright, give me one second. I just want to find out how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, I need to go ahead and update. 18, because we ha we're doing one right now. So I'll do that this weekend on Saturday. So that'll be technically a little bit more than 18, but I've been bad about that. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to go the right way yet. I want to look around for more loot. <clears throat> but yeah, I was going to say, if, if you have any interest in, like, you know, some... A Star Fox-like game, Roswell, and you have a console, I know you're mainly uh, PC. I recommend picking it up. When it's on sale. Which I think it's on sale there somewhat too. I don't know though. I mean, these chests technically aren't worth it, but at the same time, I'm not um, opposed to them either because it's loot. We might find a Kate. I mean, if we find a Kate, then it's worth it. Oh, right, duh. Okay. It's a good day for battle. You're weak to ice, huh? Alright. How about you? Yeah, the year is gonna die. <laughs> I think the audio is fine. My headphones are a little bit under 50%, so. I have a little bit of trouble hearing me, but at the same time, I know why, so. So I saw that they're releasing another uh, Castlevania collection here in summer, which will be nice. I might pick it up again, even though I um, already own it. I don't like that I am buying things from um, Konami, though, because of all their bad business practices. And how they treat their employees. Which I guess is technically the same as bad business practices, but still. The flame guides us true. It, was pretty, it was pretty notorious how bad they were treating their employees. Hopefully it has improved, but I have no... I've tried to not stay too up-to-date on gaming news. As much as I love video games, I just... I don't need to know everything about them, and that's something I'm teaching myself. I want to learn more about God, and I'm trying. I do at least read four chapters of the Bible a day most of the time. Sometimes if they're really long, admittedly I'll do two chapters, but... I'm also trying to get better about my apologetics, and that's something that I have a ways to go on as well. Army. Lightning amulet. I don't think that was really. I mean, we had to do his anyways, but it's like that was not great. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I am just looking for nuts at this point. Okay, we don't even need to save before we go in there. That's how confident I am. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? My turn now. Huh? Pardon me. May the sacred flame shine forth. I am not made for such battles. But no, I picked up some Castlevania stuff today because it was on sale on the PlayStation store.
And then I found out about the Castlevania collection. I was like, oh boy. Well, I'll be damned. So this is the door Barham was talking about. It doesn't look like it has any ordinary lock, that's for sure. But the crystal key should do the trick. I guess it technically gives you yet another chance to save, but I'm pretty sure we're okay. Ruby Dragonstone. One down, the two to go. Oh, there's actually voice acting. I guess I will have to not go ahead and talk. That's far enough. Thief. Stop right there, criminal scum. I mean, you think you've apprehended us, but you, you haven't. I'm getting distracted again, aren't I? I assume you heard the news and came to steal my dragonstone. More like reacquire it. But filthy thieves such as yourself could never. This is not yours in the first place. No, he didn't, in a sense. I mean, he did, but he didn't. That nagging, patronizing coward, Barham. Barham. This research is pointless, Oreg. Enough of the dragons, don't Oreg. I'll decide when enough is enough. I don't know, I think we could beat you up right now. I beg to differ. I couldn't care less about its true value. I need to get that stone back to its rightful owner, and that's not you. This stone should be in the hands of someone intelligent. Someone who can appreciate its mysteries. I'm kind of concerned with one of my toys at the moment, actually, because I'm worried it might be slightly broken. Precisely. This beautiful stone requires research. So that's why I'm so distracted. I'm not trying to be, but... I guess I could test real quickly. It sounds like you can't trust anyone else to get the job done. I mean, it goes in fine, so it should be okay. Why 
I try. I mean, it's true. You're not wrong. I never said you're good. I know. So it's like, hey, Orlick, I know you think you're really cool, but, uh, I have some bad news for you. Don't pretend you understand. Oh, fish posh. I mean, maybe I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Got it out. Okay. Enough with this thoughtless prattle. I have work to do. I haven't played Tales from the Borderlands. Like, not that much. Let's get this over with. Oh, <sighs> Thinking. Thinking. Yeah, hey, whatever, just go for it. They are, but I don't know if I'd really say they're games. They're more like interactive things. How about you? Uh, let's do that down and then... Yes, good job. There you go. Don't think I don't think we're going to get a one hit turn on him though. Maybe. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. There we go. I could have gone a one-hit turn on him, too, if I had had Ulbrich use his stuff, but I kind of... That's okay. Okay. I guess it's not broken. It just worried me a bit, so we should be okay. There's definitely a piece that's slightly out of place, but, um... <clears throat> Pardon me. Spirit and Plumbat. Oh, I forgot to steal again! Dang it. Bested by a thief. How disgraceful. You bring great dishonor, Abu. You won't be doing much more research. Putting this down and no more distractions. Like, maybe I should have just done Starlight tonight. Actually, now I think I will hold off on that because the update is coming for Starlight soon, so I might have an extra here one of these weekends. Now back to Boulderful. I'm sure Heathcote's got new orders for me. I'm sure Heathcliff's got new orders for me. Hooray! You will never be Heathcote. Always Heathcliff. I'm back. Yeah, I, I also don't like the uh, way that they've taken the final season for... Walking Dead, from what I've heard. I'm so glad to see you safe, Mr. Therion. Well, thank you, Cordelia. I brought the Dragonstone. Yeah, I've looked into it a bit. I won't give you too many spoilers, Roswell. The only thing I've heard is that you can choose between, um...
What's her name? Clementine. If she's gay or straight. And it's like, yeah, because being gay totally makes sense in the apocalypse, where you need to go ahead and repopulate people. Yeah, that's logic. Like, it's not logic in the first place, but, I mean, like, doubly not logic there. This is indeed the ruby stone, without a doubt. It's something that... It... Yeah, exactly, Roswell, that part too. You have my gratitude. He is simply upholding his half of the deal, milady. He deserves no such thanks. After all, he has yet to return the we'll get there, we'll get there. Stones. Yeah, but Telltale's, I have a suspicion, lost all their good writers before they went bankrupt. Hello, Boto. I mean, we didn't even get a Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people, too. I think he's earned the removal of the band. Apologize for the phone, by the way. Stop and think about what you're saying. Now it's on silent. I beg your pardon? You can't guarantee I'll fulfill my promise if you remove this now. But no, that is one of the things that annoys me, Roswav, in apocalypse settings. It's like, yeah, let's just do these characters so that way we can make sure that nobody can reproduce and the entire, you know, human race dies off. Good job thinking that through. So, you know, The Last of Us, now The Walking Dead, Guild Wars 2 with the humans. Although you couldn't tell that the humans are dying off by how many people choose to play humans in Guild Wars 2 instead of any other race. You don't strike me as someone who would abandon responsibility. You strike me as someone with too much faith in people. I mean, it's not a bad thing to have too much faith in people, but just be wary too. Reconnect to the end. I mean, that would be useful. Take it for me. No matter how much you trust someone, they will betray you. I might put reconnect to the internet after um, shelter, though. As well as you know, making sure that the human race survives, which I guess technically three is connected to reconnect to the internet. Do yourself a favor and build your walls up higher before you get hurt. Therion is Do Donald Trump confirmed. Um, zombie you, I think, Roswell, but that's about all I can remember. Mr. Therion? Um, Metro. Metro uh, Exodus does. Please, my lady, that's quite enough. Yeah, the th only the third one though, not the first two. Two. It's yeah, it's not very many. I hate to like, I don't want to give the spoiler for Metro Exodus for uh, what was going on with that, so. You 
So, where's the next stone? Yeah, I can't think of any else aside from those. After a bit of digging, I found it to be in Wellspring. Any idea where in Wellspring? That town is home. Ah, uh, that's right. I forgot about that. What does he know about the black market? Only those involved with the business are supposed to know. I knew he was no ordinary butler. The Emerald Dragonstone is being sold there. Hmm. So my sources say. Thank you, Heathcliff. I'll be on my way then. Good luck out there, Mr. Thanks, Cordelia. You don't need to see me off again. It's a waste of time for both of us. Yeah, and be nicer. Burden yourself with him, Miss Ravis. Even that man has dignity to uphold. Dignity? I don't know what we're talking about here. Though he may live an unscrupulous life, his skills as a thief keep him alive. Naturally, he has pride and confidence in these skills. And I can imagine he feels great frustration when shown compassion and consideration by the very... Yeah, I can someone understand that. If he did not feel such, I would not think him suitable for the job. Can someone understand that as well? I, I see. He is a man with a lot of pride. Milady. Milady. My apologies, Heathcote, but I can't help thinking of that lonesome look on his face. He's lonely, Heathcliff. He's lonely. Reminded me of myself back then. Oh, backstory for Cadelia. Is that so? Yes. His words may have been harsh, but I could tell that his true feelings were different. <clears throat> and so Therion's journey continues. His next target, the Stone of an Emerald. So he sets forth for the town of Wellspring in the Sunlands, and the den of villainy that waits within. Alright. Let's do a little bit of cleanup. After travel banter. So that is a dragonstone. Why it's so beautiful. Huh. I thought your religious types had much interest in gems. I care not for material wealth. That is what you mean, but I can sense a strange power in those stones. I'll have to take your word on that. It's not exactly my area of expertise. Whatever the reason, it's not a bad thing for someone like you to be interested in pretty gems. Whatever do you mean by that? I mean, most girls your age like to wear brooches and bangles, right? If you ask me, a better place for these gems would be on the wrist of a young lady like yourself. Well, why? Now you're just teasing me, aren't you? Well, I, th I think this conversation is over. Heh. Yeah. Therian, I don't like you. Oh, yeah, let's go to Sands Bridge real quick. You may as well clear up the stuff we can clear up while we're here. See, if he hadn't done that with so many other people, Roswell, I'd agree with you, but... It's like, he kind of just tries to dissuade people, it seems, for now. Haven't we talked to you already? Hmm? Why, hello, the light in your eye. You have the look about you I like. Lipsies. 
Well, actually, not quite the one I'm looking for. Oh, I feel like I've been searching all my life for that one perfect person. I followed her all the way to this town. Lie black. It seems I truly do mean nothing to her. I mean, it happens, Roswell. Maybe there really is no perfect woman out there for me. Hmm. Guys, I think that quest title gave away a little bit too much. I mean, that too, but, um, that, um, that quest title just definitely gave away a lot of plot, if you happen to know. I mean, maybe not a lot of plot, but enough plot. I can show you the quest title real quickly, um, Ross, I'll give me a second. Main story? No. Side stories? Yes. Uh, Flatlands? Coastlands? Probably not, let's be honest. Highlands. Sunlands? Riverlands? There it is. Hmm, I wonder if that happens to do with anything that we've had to deal with so far. I mean, it's not like we've had... Yeah. It's not like we've kind of fought, fought the cult of them or anything. That maybe Lady isn't quite fully what she says she is. It's like, guys, you could have named that quest a little bit better. <clears throat> like, even Daughter of the Mysterious Man would have been better. Uh, did I get your stuff? Oh, duh. You don't really have anything that I'm interested in, though. Mm, pardon me. That's fair, but in this case, it, it does mean exactly what it means, Roswell. Only because I have looked that up a little bit ahead of time by mistake. But you're right, it could not necessarily mean that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think that's a problem if you're spoiling something that's in the 1800s, honestly. If somebody's getting upset about that, then that's no bueno. Yeah. Romeo and Juliet die, Roswell, I hate you. I didn't know that. As I was say, I think Citizen Kane at this point is also free for spoilers. But I think Citizen Kane might be the worst kept spoiler of all time, possibly, aside from 
uh, Harry Potter book six. I guess maybe technically not. There might be some others, but there's a couple that I can think of that are bad kept spoilers. Badly kept. The battle is truly My turn now. Huh? Yeah, I was about to say, I was thinking about that Ross one, and it's like, why? Yeah, TV Tropes is kind of silly about that sometimes. I'm looking for a treasure chest, and I just can't find it yet. Oh, I'm back to the beginning. If there's a nut to be had, I'm gonna find it. Hopefully. I've done my research on you. Victory shall be mine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Ignis our dare. Eh, I may just stop caring and just continue on here in a second, honestly. The flame guides us true. Like, we've got a vast majority of stuff going on now. Not all of it, but a vast majority. Well, I found his, or that one, so we'll go grab that at least. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? No, then. Out of my. No, we can't settle this like gentlemen. Draw your sword. Good job there, Ethereum. I am not made for such battles. Does he happen to have low accuracy from a specific weapon or what? I can't remember. I could check him. Oh, there's another chest that I've missed. It's a good thing that I came this way again. Like, this is probably not neither, but. Clarity stone. Good. Let us fight with honor. No, then. Oh. Okay. Out of my way. My Ignis our dare. Yeah, we'll just continue on to the next one for now. I'm pretty much ready to start wrapping this game up. Okay, let's see. Could go there, but I don't want to do yours yet. I'd like to do yours. Let's do it. That's right, you did have business here. Let's do it. Won't be able to finish this tonight, but I, I really want to just start getting to the end game. In Quarry Crest, Cyrus used his powers of deduction to get to the bottom of a series of kidnappings per perpetrated by the depraved Sklar Gideon, who was harvesting the villagers' blood for his dark researchers and getting sickening lab laboratory. As Cyrus discovered it, translated copy of Far from the Reaches of Hell. Though the history of the dark arts intrigued him, he could not sit idly by while his peers had used knowledge for evil. So Cyrus came to Stoneguard, where the tome was bound. Would he find answers here, or only more dreadful questions? Stoneguard at last. Sprawling city if I ever saw one. Talk about searching for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, you can figure it out. First, we should review where we stand. Like as not, the translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell is produced by a bookmaker in this town. But where to begin my search? Logically speaking, it make the most sense to begin at the source. Which means head straight for... The Bindery, of course. Where else? I don't know. 
but we're... Oh, okay. Ellipses. Very well, let the investigation begin. And then the hooded person is going to come from behind. Wow, I am good at predicting this. Ah, uh, travel painter. Take care, Take Schooler. Care. You know, I feel it now, too. The unmistakable sense of being watched. For my part, the feeling was faint at first and came and went, but it grows stronger with every step we take. Undoubtedly, your instincts are stronger than mine. How did you acquire them, I wonder? I cannot say. It's something I learned on the battlefield, but what it means I do not rightly know. I was hoping there was some easy trick to it. It's easy enough, if you're willing to fight as many battles as I have. I think easy here means something different to you and me. Fair enough. Even a scholar such as you cannot know everything there is to know of this world. Yeah, let's go ahead and restore Ophelia's SP. Um, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh! I know, Alfin. You'll be coming back soon. Don't you worry. I still like you too much, Alfin. I wouldn't want... I mean, you're going to be on the secondary team, but that's just so you can be an inspiration to them, not because you're being expelled. Steel. Scrutinize. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, now it seems I owe this Dominic fellow a visit. I should be able to find him in the workshop just east of here. Indeed. Indubitably. Oh, I can't wait for Saturday when I get to do some more Skies for Arcadia. That'll be fun. Excuse Big pardon, me. is this the residence of... I don't know who you are, but I'm not in the mood for company. A moment of you can just spare a moment, kind of, sir. There's something I'd like to ask you. Be gone with you. I said I wish to see no one. Leave me at once. He seems like a stubborn one. I'll have to find another way. Pray you forgive the intrusion. A good day to you, sir. It might behoove me to find out a bit more about our friend Dominic. Just burn down his house. He'll come out. Easy peasy. Well, wow. Maybe the sign was in a different language. So you were refused. Indeed, it would appear we have no one to rely upon but ourselves. That Dominic fellow. Stubborn coot, wouldn't you say? That type regrettably common in the world of philosophy and science. So you're going to find out more about him? Certainly if I can do that. I might find a means by which to make him listen to me. I shall start by talking to his colleagues and other associates. Good luck. Those bookish types are badier than the carrion caves. Myself included? Thanks, Therion. Dominic seclusion. Let's see. Oh, that's sad. Let's see now. I see. Just one more. <laughs> Technically, I could defeat or uh, do this side quest right now, but I've heard there's a second way to do this side quest properly, so I will wait a little bit longer.
sold some medicine to Dominic about 15 years ago, I think. It was in a spot of bother, as I recall. Financially speaking, so I gave him a discount. That should do it. I dare say Dominic will be most talk more talkative this time. <sighs> We're back to annoy you again. Big pardon, Master Dominic. I am Cyrus, the scholar who called upon you earlier. You again. I already told you I do not want to see you. Daughter. Prints in a book. But yes, am I reading this correct? This is undoubtedly why Dominic has cut off all contact with the outside world. I do not mean to open old wounds, friend. But I have heard that you lost your dear daughter to illness some 15 years ago. Since then, you have secluded yourself and cut off all contact with the outside world. In order to procure the elixirs that might save your daughter, you needed coin. Quickly, and in large quantities. And so you accepted an unusual task. To wit, yes. producing a translation of, from the far reaches of hell. But who told you this? The book that you translated is now in my position. possession. Pardon me. Clearly you were a scholar of great knowledge and wisdom. You took care to omit the most horrific passages, doubtless because you recognized the danger of the post. As an academic, I will not stand idly by as knowledge is used for the purpose of evil. So I ask you, who commissioned this translation from you? Come inside. Thank you. Many oh, friends. she did say thank you. Thank you, friend, in fact. Listen. Ah, oh, but where should I even begin? Fifteen yeah, years so ago, a man came here to me with a request he said it was some dire import. <clears throat> Strangely, I cannot recall his name. He was a scholar, and from his words, one could tell his mind was sharp as a blade. But I remember more than anything were his eyes, which burned blood red with a zeal for knowledge that bordered on an obsession. Sorry about that. Red eyes. Could it be? No, Paris of thought. They say in recent years he accepted a prestigious position at the Royal Academy in Atlas Dam. Goodness graciousness. Headmaster Yvonne. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me. Yvonne was his name. He came to me, a mighty and venerable tome in hand. That tome was from the far reaches of hell. I did not have to think twice. Knowing full well the danger posed by the forbidden knowledge within. Yes, I was not blind to the risk. And yet what choice did I have? The medicines my daughter required cost a veritable fortune, and I am but a humble scholar. So he allowed Yvonne's instruct you followed Yvonne's instructions to the letter. Yes, I translated that dreadful tome. All the while, fearing for my life what horrors might come to pass, the knowledge fell into the wrong hands. In the end, even the rarest of elixirs could not save my poor girl. Looking back, I believe this was divine punishment for my sins. Hey, Master Yvonne, whatever was that man was the man thinking? You saw it say the book is in your possession, I beg of you, promise me. I will see that it's never again used to bring pain and suffering. You have my word. The pain and guilt you bear is surely beyond my understanding, but I hope this will bring even a small measure of solace. Rest your heart easy, friend. As best you can. Yeah, Cyrus, was it? Thanks. You have my thanks. There's the hooded figure. Well, are you going to keep hiding in the shadows, or shall we end this charade? Oh. 
So your wife's my presence. Yeah, for a while now. I know it's being followed, yes. Hey, it's that lady. Fancy meeting you outside the academy. You're the headmaster's assistant, Miss... Lucia. A pleasure. And why have you followed me here, Miss Lucia? Forgive me, Professor Albright. I meant no offense. I overheard that you were investigating the whereabouts of a certain tomb. Tome. A tome by the name of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Is this correct? And what if it is? What I'm about to say, I ask that you keep in the utmost confidence. A reason to believe Headmaster Yvonne is plotting something unsavory and solving. Involving the self same tome. So the thief who stole the book from the archives was the headmaster yes. himself. Of this I am all but certain. The headmaster's assistant I may be, but first and foremost, I'm a scholar in my own right. I will not stand to see my profession's good name sullied by one who would use knowledge in the name of evil. This is, this is why. You came here seeking my aid. Correct. You didn't, though. You've been following me in the shadows until I called you out. I don't believe her. As you may be aware, Headmaster Yvonne hails from Stoneguard himself. Yes, it's plain yes. to investigate that very matter after I was done here. The house of which in which he was born still stands. Yet there are ominous rumors about the place. I have ascertained its location, but I am hesitant to investigate further on my own. So I ask Professor Albright, please, pray, let me your aid. Yeah, I would see this house with my own eyes. I understand completely. You'll find it on the north side of town. We back? Are we back? Shall we begin? Hopefully everything's working now. Okay, everything's working now. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. Hopefully I'll be able to get a new router soon. I think that would happen to help. Very well, let's pay this a visit straight away. As for whether or not I can cooperate, I will give you my answer there. Is this acceptable? Of course, thank you, Professor. I'm going to meet you there. Oh, he's not in here anymore. Um, before we happen to go meet the person who I suspect is going to betray us. Oh. As I said, we do happen to have prayer once every hour, so let's go ahead and have prayer. These two sound good. Actually, these two sound better. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Prayer for charity and tolerance. May I be no man's enemy, and may I be the friend of that which is eternal and abides. May I never quarrel with those nearest me, and if I do, may I be reconciled quickly. May I never devise evil against any man. If any devise evil against me, may I escape uninjured without the need of hurting him. May I love, seek, and attain only that which is good. May I wish for all men's happiness and envy none. May I never rejoice in the ill fortune of one who has wronged me. When I have done or said what is wrong, may I never wait for the rebuke of others, but always rebuke myself until I make amends. May I win no vector victory that harms either me or my opponent. May I reconcile friends who are angry with one another. May I, to the extent of my power, give all needful help to my friends and to all who are in want. May I never fail a trend in danger. Pardon me, that makes more sense when I actually say that properly. May I never fail a friend in danger. When visiting those in grief, may I be able, by gentle and healing words, to soften their pain. May I respect myself. May I always tame that which rages within me. May I accustom myself to be gentle and never be angry with people because of circumstances. May I never discuss who is wicked and what wicked things he has done. But no good men in following their footsteps through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Prayer to do God's will. Lord, I know not what I should ask of thee. Thou alone know what I need. Thou lovest me better than I know how to love myself. O Father, give to thy child that which he himself knows not how to ask. I dare not ask either for crosses or consolations. I simply present myself before thee. I open my heart to thee. Behold my needs, which I know not myself. See and do according to thy tender mercy. Smite or heal, depress me or raise me up. I adore all thy purposes without knowing them. I am silent. I offer myself in sacrifice. I yield myself to thee. I would have no other desire than to accomplish thy will. Teach me to pray. Pray thyself in me. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, my humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits, and one of the world, for the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Maximilian Colby, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Oh, I'm getting tired. Probably going to wrap up here after Cyrus, because I'm starting to get tired. But obviously, I, we haven't gone that long, honestly, so I want to go a little bit longer. The very least until we're done with Cyrus's. Probably about another 50 minutes. What was your stuff? Well met. Okay. Oh, okay, sure. A tomb, a row of tomb, but what could have befallen there? I don't know. Apparently we're taking a bet. Apparently we're stopping the story for real quick and coming here. In his later years until his death, Ventus III worked to better his realm. Thanks to his reforms, the realm continued to prosper under his son's rule. But after the son died, the realm was torn asunder by civil war. Two brothers fought for the throne, one the son of the queen, one the bastard son of the king's mistress. The baseborn brother was the better man, and older too, but only true blood matters, and the throne was his brother's. So the kingdom was first divided, and then broken beyond fixing. I heard tell of civil war, but I never knew that the royal family itself had become divided. The man who protects the tomb is a descendant of the older brother. In his veins runs the blood of the man who brought the Ventus dynasty to a stretch again. So it's a penance of sorts, the way he devotes his life to watching over that tomb. I thought me well versed in matters of the past, but I fain imagine such an extraordinary tale. I'm going to write the tale down without further ado and deliver the paper to the Royal Society. But do you give me nuts? Thank you for all you have done. Royal Crest. What's the Royal Crest do? Uh, okay. Bet the Royal Crest is down here. Not awful. I'll give it that. It's not something I wanted, but I'll take it. Although we have a better necklace, anyway, it's whatever. And there is some loot that I definitely... Yeah! It's not nuts! It's not a permanent stat boost! I want my permanent stat boost! It's too... I don't know about that. I'll find out for you later at some point. Not right now, though. This is where Headmaster Yvonne was born and raised. According to his neighbors, has landed in for some 20 years now. 
Oh, miss indeed. Shall we let ourselves in? I was gonna say, she's gonna kick us in here. Well, what the? We're not dead yet! Oof, where? What is this place? Ah, uh, Professor Albright. Professor I apologize for this little Albright. ruse. I oh, there's voice hacking. Voice okay. anywhere. I mean, I... Yeah, essentially, Roswell. So, we meet again, Headmaster Yvonne. Like, we didn't see this coming. When I heard you were looking into from the far reaches of hell, I knew your search would lead you here. And sure enough, you didn't disappoint me. Your mind is every bit as sharp as I thought it was. You sent Lucia to keep her... Duh! What a shame, my dear boy. A thirst for knowledge like yours would be such a terrible thing to waste. Yeah, that's around here. So, what do you say? Apprentice uh, no, yourself to me, and I will overlook your little trespasses. How kind of you. I refuse. Good on you, Cyrus. I am, shall we say, philosophically opposed to your stance on knowledge. I believe that knowledge should be shared, not hoarded for one's personal gain. I thought you'd say as much. Most unfortunate, Most unfortunate indeed. Cyrus. Most unfortunate. As you know, this is my house, and I. It doesn't look very cobwebby, except for in your uh, dungeon area. A smart man like you knows what this means, yes? When you starve to death here, no one will be the wiser. It's okay, we have fast travel. Now we're without voice acting again. What is this? If you think I'll give up without a fight, you don't know me nearly well enough. Climbing my way out doesn't seem to be an option. Now, how to get myself out of this predicament? Well, first we get the treasure chest. Bone! I said investigate further. Okay, I assume it's way unseen now. Is it voice acted? It's not. Professor Albright. That voice. Could it be? Hold on, Professor. I'll lower rope. There you go. Climb on up. Oh, Professor. I'm so glad you're safe. Therese. Did you come all the way from Atlas Dam? But why? I I knew you were in danger. 
So I came to warn you. Hmm. That's quite enough, young lady. Guy, he can't take us. Ah! Therese. I knew Sarah's come, but you. You have pluck for a girl your age. Yvonne, let her go at once. Is clear hostage negotiation never factored into your scholarly pursuits? Mark my word, Cyrus. Stop in the research of this girl's life is forfeit. Oh, apparently he can disappear like that. Wait! Well, first I gotta explore around here. It's dark as heck! Can be a little bit brighter. Yeah, like that. That that amount of brightness would be fine. Throw some more candles and st stuff up. Windows. Let us fight with honor. Study foe. Thunder. Need weak to that, not that it's gonna matter. I am not made for such battles. On the bright side, you guys are getting decent experience. Good. We should be able to hit level 40 before uh, the big boss. I suspect. So, can we just leave this way? We can, but I don't want to. Yvonne's cellar. I will battle. Weak to lightning, good to know. Victory show. Yep, just go ahead and uh, there you go. Good job. My turn now. You were not weak to lightning in the back there. That's unfortunate. I am not made for such battles. Okay, he's a matter of experience, good. Seems like about every second or third fight we should be getting levels again, which is nice. I don't think there's anything over here. We gotta check, you gotta get that loot. Especially if it's nut in the price zone, whatever. Give me nuts! A PSP is like a nut you can play with outside. I'm sorry for referencing that terrible ad. Uh, about every three fights, which is fine. So pseudo cider. Energizing pomegranate, alright. Hmm. Not sure what that's for them. Is this the right way? I don't know. We'll find out. If it is the right way, we'll head back because I see there's a chest up there still. quite what I want, but it's something that I'll deal with. I could be getting some more experience if, um, their darn defenses weren't so danged high. They're really high, and that's annoying me. I 
I just want to get my experience in easily. Okay, so that's the proper way. Which means that's not the way for me. Not yet. There is no choice. Okay, ice. I can do that. There we go, that's better experience. This team's gonna be so underleveled, aren't they? Ah. Worst comes to worst, I can always grind a little bit more, I suppose. Like, not our two main characters, they're not gonna be underleveled, but like the rest of them. Uh, we should be able to actually get the bonus experience again this time, just because Tyrion didn't miss and was fast, which was both good. Both good. The flame guides us true. And actually, this isn't a bad experience for Old Brick or Ophelia. Once, it's not the greatest, but I mean, it's 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 experience. Okay, now how do I get down there to that, uh, chest? There's a side corridor. I just need to find it now. None here. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? No, no settling like gentlemen. Okay, there we go. This by this boss might not actually die as fast. The flame guides us true. Like I'm not expecting him to stay around for long, but I'm just saying this boss might. Be able to take a hit or a few. So not there. Maybe here, no. Back down. Hmm. Oh, hey, you guys. Don't remember what you're weak to, though. Not that it mattered. Okay, you should get a level next time, which is good. You both might be able to, actually. Sturdy Quartz Rod. Um... I'm assuming it's not... It's not, okay. That's what I thought, but, you know, I had to check. Maybe. Hm. Let's try from the other direction. See how much damage you can do, Cyrus. Not much. But, that's alright. Yeah, Philly does happen to be high level, have better gear, actually has the stats, so. Not like it's entirely your fault, or really your fault at all, but. We 
might have a little bit more time after this. I'm starting to wake up a little bit. Now then, how do I get that chest? That's how. Okay. <laughs> it's a good day for battle. Okay, so we're not going to be able to stop him from attacking, unfortunately. I think that just means less JP, I believe, or maybe that's less money. Less money, okay. Eh. It's not needed, but I'll take it. We're like nuts, but that's okay. I think I will save before this boss fight, just to play it safe, since Therian and Cyrus do happen to be a little bit underleveled. Come on, I've got better things to do. Study foe. We do have better things to do, Therian. You're not wrong with that. I am not made for such battles. Oh. I'd like to get Therian a level before we challenge the boss, so we'll do that in a second. Oh, that should take too long. I always wonder how bosses feel about this when people are like, I gotta get one more level! And they can hear you right outside the doors. So it's like, are you... Are you gonna come in, or...? Time to teach you a lesson. Just gonna keep running back and forth while you happen to kill all my minions to get experience. Great. The flame guides us Check level? Uh, well, with how close Ophelia is, we may as well get her level too. Plus Cyrus will get a level that way too, so, you know. Pardon me. Mm. And again. Come on, guys. There is no choice. <sighs> lightning, I guess, just because I like lightning. You level up, I do a little bit more for Ophelia, and we'll be good. You guys will be three levels below the recommended level for this boss fight, but, uh... We got two characters that are 33 levels above the recommended level for this boss fight. I think we'll be okay. I guess I could do something real quickly, let's see. Actually, I want you to learn your dancer stuff first. Eh, not great, but not bad. Not bad, but not great. Of course, this even matters if, uh, we should at least, this, this boss should live for one turn at least. Flame, protect us. What is that? The battle is truly joined. There we go. I'll do my best. Blood Remnant, okay. I don't know what you're weak to, so... 
Guess we'll do this. Oh, you are weak to that. Cool. Then Ophelia should get a level to 73. Cool. Ulbrich's pretty close to level 2, but uh, I mainly wanted her to get a level so her stuff could recover. Yvonne's about to have a bad day. Oh, Yvonne! We're home! Therese! Professor? You just couldn't leave well enough. No, I mean, could this isn't what you do with a hostage. You don't torture them. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not like this. You disappoint me, Cyrus. I took you for a more logical man. Headmaster Yvonne, what do Turn you blood to do of course. The girl went poking around in my secrets. I fear she can't be allowed. And so I'll finish off teacher and student in one fell Good luck, Headmaster Yvonne. You'll not lay a hand on my pupil. I'll see to that. You seem terribly agitated, Cyrus. It's not good for the humor. It's one of those blood crystals. You will taste the power I summoned from the far reaches of hell! When did we start fighting Elder, Togu Elder Toguru at 10% of his strength? I cannot fail. Battle is truly joy. Um, I guess I could happen to do this. I'll do my best. And we'll do this. What is the logical course of action? Uh, dancer skills, bewilder increase. Actually, I want to see what Wildering Grace does before I do it. One second. Couple things that can be good. JP times two. That's nice. That's not so nice. Uh, merchant skills. Go donate some PP so we can get some more experience, please. Explodes again. Good. Cool, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and blast these research fellows out of here because I just don't want them here. Not dead yet. Interesting. Victory shall be mine. My turn. Here you go. I don't think that's gonna work. Sorry, bud. Well then. It's not as much as you think it will. Have this. Ah. 
Give me what I want. Perfect. Okay. Not for me. I think not. Here you go. And I don't want you to attack this turn or next turn, so that's what I was waiting for. Uh, heal wounds would probably be enough, but we'll just do heal more. Pardon me. Here you go. Okay, Cyrus, give us all the effects. There it is! That's what I was looking for. Thank you! Oh, really? Maybe that'll be times five times five experience. Let's find out. Let's see, I guess. Uh, maybe. I mean, it wasn't a bad amount of experience. Like, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not as much as I was wanting, but... I guess I could find out how much experiences you've on, typically. Uh, I just fought Yvonne, but I used Bewildering Grace and got, uh... No, that's fine. Uh, I just fought Yvonne, used Bewildering Grace, and got, uh, the times 5 experience boost twice. Welcome, by the way. Wings, how are you? Acting okay, Paparas Paprostrous. I am all powerful. I am eternal, immortal. I'm doing pretty well, Wings. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Immortal? Lies. They were all lies. Lies? Who lied to you? It cannot end like this. It must not. We're getting there. Actually, I did want to see how much experience Yvonne typically is worth. So I want to know if it did times five twice or if it just did times five once. That's why I want to know. You have my gratitude. Uh, 850? Let's see, 850... Just once, which is still fine. I was hoping it would be twice, but I mean, I get it. Oh, Professor. Professor, I'm so glad you're... What have I done? And teacher endangered the life of his people. I mean, it wasn't on purpose. I can reflect upon I can reflect upon my failings another time. Ugh, getting tongue tied. For now, I must get you to safety. Awake, are you? Yes, Professor. Is there voice acting? Oh, there's voice acting. I must know what you saw and heard. You'll tell me, yes? Yes, Professor. I'm gonna be quiet during the voice acting. One day I heard the headmaster talking to someone in his office. 
I couldn't make out the other voice, but they were talking about you. They were saying they would see you dead. So I... I... You came all the way here to warn me. Yes, Professor. I see. Well, Therese. As your teacher, I must scold you for your most reckless and careless actions. Hmm. It's kind of creepy with how old he is, honestly. I understand, Professor. I was saying, I'm pretty sure Cyrus is like 30, isn't he? But one thing is also clear. Were it not for your actions, I would have died in that dark pit. And so, of course, we not actually know his age. He is thirty. I, I got it right. Okay. A debt of gratitude. Thank you, Therese, from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, but just because anything is possible in a J JRPG doesn't mean it should be possible. One thing. What is it, Professor? In the future, pray consult someone you can trust before embarking on such a dangerous course of action. Sorry, Professor, but I did learn from the best. Okay, have a good night. Uh, I suppose you did, didn't you? Professor, I... I must continue my journey, but I will send letters. Yes, I'll include assignments to keep your mind sharp. But I think we've talked enough for the day. You should rest. Wait, Professor! The Headmaster. He said one more thing. What was the one more thing? Mm -hmm. What's this now? He said that once you were out of the way, there was a place he would go. Intriguing. And where might that be, pray tell? Uh. I appreciate your concern, but I will go there. I must. We have a level 74 in our party. In way, We're okay, Therese. We are not so different, the headmaster and I. Professor. That unquenchable thirst for knowledge, bordering almost on obsession. And yet, 
Our philosophies regarding the ultimate purpose of knowledge could not be more different. Go on. The headmaster used his position and prestige to hoard knowledge for his own foul ends. As an academic, I cannot forgive this. Knowledge is for one and all. <sighs> Okay, while well, Teresa's being quiet, honestly, since that guy is gone, I was going to bring it up after the cutscene anyways, but just because something is possible in a game doesn't make it right. You should go ahead and strive to do right no matter what you do. And honestly, I don't really care about the view count as long as I'm preach or talking about the truth. It doesn't matter. It is actually kind of a quiet night for the amount of viewers, which is fine. I know that people are busy, so it's like, okay, you're threatening me that you're going to leave because you don't like what I'm saying. That's fine. We inherit the knowledge of our ancestors and pass it on to those who follow us. Only then is its true value realized. Headmaster Yvonne believed true knowledge should begin and end with him. He was wrong. Always remember this, Therese. Knowledge is a bounty to be shared by all. A bounty? The more of us that possess true knowledge, the richer we all become. Those who seek knowledge must never forget this. That is what I believe. And those who would use their knowledge for nefarious ends must be stopped. <sighs> so, it would be wrong of me to keep this to myself. Seems like it. The headmaster said he was headed to the town of Dust Barrel. I see. Thank you, Teresa. Oh, pardon me. Do not worry. Your teacher will not make the same mistake twice. I act, I will exercise due caution. I can believe you this time. Please do, my dear girl. So, then I shall see you when you return. You have my word. I will arrange for someone to look after you until your strength returns. Yeah, but what about if somebody comes back and kills her? Okay, what's well, gonna pop? Dusk, Dusk Barrel. Barrel. Whatever did the headmaster seek there? Judging from his transformation to that dreadful beast, the power he Seems that way. was an unholy one indeed. Is it? possible that the tome holds not only the secrets to death, but 
new forms of life. Maybe. And yet, I find it hard to believe that transforming himself into a demon was the headmaster's ultimate goal. Pardon me, sorry. After all, did he not say he was betrayed? And the original copy of the tome is still nowhere to be found. So many questions remain, but now I know where I can find the answers. On to Duskbarrow, and whatever dark secrets await me there. And so Cyrus left Stongard behind, having witnessed with his own eyes the nightmarish powers contained within the pages of that baleful tome. But what do Yvonne and his cohorts truly seek? Whether he's ready to face them or not, Cyrus would face his answers in Dust Barrow. Carol Bender. Professor, that monster. You speak of Headmaster Yvonne. Yes, hehe, <laughs> he seemed like just a normal person, and then. Some monsters are created in laboratories, so it is certainly possible to transform a man into one. There will always be people prepared to use knowledge for vile ends. Never thought knowledge to be so frightening. Yes, but remember that while it can serve evil, it's also a weapon we defeat that same evil. You mean it all depends on who uses it, precisely. That's why you see the pursuit of knowledge demands virtue and integrity. Knowledge nobly won can be shared for the benefit of all men. I warrant that it, if it had been you who found that knowledge, you would have known how to use it for good. Such glowing praise. You flatter me, dear lady. Uh, let's see down there. Up there. Not yet, though. But yeah, it really annoys me how it's like, yeah, you're going to threaten somebody. Yeah, I'm going to stop watching. Okay, then. It's like... Bye! Whew. But that will do it for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and save. We will be back Wednesday. I think we should be able to finish up at least Cyrus's on Wednesday. Or Wednesday, yeah. Uh, we'll be able to continue on Therion's. So I was going to say, we can go ahead, get Therion's Chapter 3 done on Wednesday, get the... get Cyrus's Chapter 4 done, and we'll be moving pretty pretty effectively, actually. What is the level for yours? 45. We're not that far off from leveling, actually. So... All right, that'll do it for tonight. We will happen to be continuing on tomorrow. So, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. You make sure that you all happen to have a wonderful night. God bless, and remember that God loves each and every one of you. Go and sin no more. Good night, guys. Seriously, have a good night. God bless.